There's still that... There's still that door I haven't opened. Somebody is walking here. Hearing footsteps. Blocked. Okay, perfect. So there's two doors in Shrine of Amana that I can't open yet. Oh, let me read this, uh, this key. Alright, that took a while to find. It's, it's a weapon. Key to the Embedded is a weapon. A sword that opens the Embedded's door. Shaped like a weapon, but is in fact a key. Plunge the key into the Embedded to bring a rhapsodic end to his fate. The once human embedded, realizing that he could never resist the temptations of the flesh, bound himself eternally with chains. He bound himself with chains. Since then, he has awaited the day that somebody will find this key and bury it within his bosom. Oh, yeah, it's totally a sword. So many souls. Am I gonna break 100k? Yes! 103,875 souls. Hi. Man, errors. Oh, I got plenty. I think I'm gonna upgrade this. Twin blade and maybe put bleeding on it. Don't so let me buy. Well, let me buy six of these. Six of these. I have four bleeding stones already. Visit me again, whenever you please. God, I'm gonna have to... Can't you see that I'm busy? I see why there are so many bell keepers now. Because <laughs> everybody wants titanite chunks to upgrade weapons. That's, that's a pretty good incentive. So let's do this. Plus six. Oh, I've got a titanite chunk. Alright, plus seven. Scale C on strength. I'll be around if you win. Let's go to Macduff. I ought to fetch a new ember. Flame. I wonder if there is another ember that I get for him. So I want to infuse this with bleeding. There we go. If you walk with flame, then I salute you. Take these. Ooh. Oh Smith for life achievement. Well, that was nice. I was out of those. Be gone. I was out because I used uh, I used one on this uh, greatsword, this Mastodon greatsword. I did uh, finally upgrade it to plus 10. So what does this thing do for damage? The Mastodon greatsword does 442 physical. And this does 148 physical plus 190 bleeding. I'll give it a try. It's not fully upgraded, so I don't expect it to be as good. So let's go back to the castle. And let's see. The bonfire that was closest is this one. So then I just have to run down the stairs and take the lift. And that'll get us up to that cage. And I'll talk to the woman up there, and then maybe I'll go back to the Shrine of Amana and talk to the one that was there. Give that a try. 
see what happens when we shove our key sword into this poor fellow's face. Oh god. Oh. Human appearance even when hollow. The wearer of this ring appears human even when hollow. They say that in the undead crypt we can reacquaint ourselves with the dead. We all suffer loss, and none of us can escape death. Then what is the fascination with reclaiming that which has already passed into the beyond? Well, it's for fashion souls, clearly. You don't want to be all green and shriveled. I keep hearing about this undead crypt, but I haven't seen the undead crypt. I wonder if that's one of the zones yet to explore. We can reacquaint ourselves with the dead. We all suffer loss. Let me put this back on. Uh, that was all that was up here. So now I guess I should go back to the Shrine of Amana and try talking to that first woman. Oh! They're singing now. That's kind of a neat touch. So what is the story there? Why was there one of those singing ladies in Castle Drangleic captured in a cage? What do we know about them? We know that I got the Ring of the Dead when I freed her. She disappeared, so maybe she was wearing that. And I know that when they sing, the little ones dance. That's kind of all I know. So does that mean that maybe she was hollow? And that's why she appeared human? Because she had this ring. So, back to Shrine of Amana. And we're going to go to the first bonfire. And go back into that first hut. Alright, and we're gonna give this twin blade a try. Tell if I processed believing or not there. It's certainly fast. Doesn't do a lot of damage though. But it staggers. Well, maybe not. Well. It's gonna take some getting used to. Because the damage, not so much. It's 
flashy, but <laughs> it's not the most effective thing. We hear a song in the distance. You rescued a Milfanita, who was taken from us. Take this. We, Milfanita, thank you. Treasure. You divine blessing, that's all. You quelled that cursed singing. They may be of no use outside, but please, take these. Treasure. Another divine blessing. You're killing me. One last look around here. Didn't see anything. Alright, so we're gonna grab some levels. I'm gonna switch back to the to the great sword. And then I guess we'll continue. Continue uh, forward from the Shrine of Amana. Is that a shard you found? Oh, that's right. Here, let me see it. So that I to see luck. However. Absolutely. Let's do. Let's do strength to 40 next. It's a door up there that's locked. A doorway back there that's locked. And a way forward here. Looks like we're going underwater. Very, very far underwater. Crypt. I was just wondering. Treasure. Maybe it's a life gem. That's good. I'm running kind of low on life gems, actually. Oh! I'm <laughs> glad I came over here. Bonfire. Naked people with skeletal faces. Pile of bodies. I feel like I'm supposed to sneak by this guy for some reason. Like he's like a guard walking on a circuit.
I made a mistake. Torch guy oblivious to the world. Good rule for any new Dark Souls player. Always, always have a poison curing item on your hotbar. <laughs> this game loves to poison you. As did the first one. Gray walls, like secret door-ish. Okay. Hold. Human, do not produce light. Light, and all those who bear it, are unwelcome in this place. Does this green glow from the chloranthi ring plus one count as light? Or do they just mean a torch? Oh! Mind me robbing them. Oh, that person produced light. They have a torch. I am Agdane, guardian of the crypt. Countless dead rest here in peace, cradled by the comfort of dark. Light only agitates. We have no need for it here. I am a finito. We weave death and watch over the dead. This task was granted to me by the one who gave us the first death. Countless souls rest here. Some of them from ages long ago. Some are rich. Others poor, some wise, some dull, but now they're all just dead. So this is interesting because he said the one who first gave them death, which was, as far as I know, Gravelord Nito, like way back in the day. And he said he's a Fenito, and those women were Mel Fenitos. It's kind of funny that they have Nito in their name. Did you come for him? 
the one called Fendrick. You will find him deeper inside. Many castle servants and the like have come to fetch their lord. But they rest here now, put to death by the king's own guard. Perhaps he's not in the mood for company. In the past, humans were one with the dark. The former king of light, he feared humans. Feared that they would usher in an age of dark. How queer you humans. How you go on, never separating truth from fiction. This place is welcome to all, provided Due reverence is shown. Death is equitable, accepting. We will all one day be welcomed by her embrace. Tell me what you desire. Show me reverence, and I will lend you my hand. Have a mercy gesture. I am a finito. We weave death and watch over the dead. This task was granted to me by the one who gave us the first death. Countless souls rest here. Some of them from ages ago. Some are rich. In the past, human, the former king of light, he feared humans. Feared how queer. Huh. So he doesn't... He already said all of his dialogue. Shield of the Insolent. Terrible defenses. Has stamina recovery. The shield of formerly high-ranking clerics. The effects of a blessing are still with it, and the shield recovers one's stamina. The clerics held venerated positions once, but now their souls wander aimlessly in the depths of a murky darkness. I guess the... maybe the Lindelt clerics? Insolent. A once proud cleric, relics of a party who long ago attempted to conquer the undead crypt. For this sin, sin, their deaths have been postponed so that they may serve as crypt sentries. Oh, there is a fate. Ring granted protection by Kremel god of struggle. The ring spikes drive into the wearer's skin so that each blow taken fuels spite toward the perpetrator. When damage is taken, the ring retaliates and inflicts damage upon the enemy. Seems like it would be a good PvP item. Dark arrow and dark bolts, infinite. I wonder if dark bolts are any good. Human effigies, ooh. Let's buy a bunch of those. The Elizabeth mushrooms. Soul spear. Vortex. Soul of peas. Warmth. So sorceries, miracles, and pyromancy, it's all three. This place is welcome, Death. Tell me what. Farewell, human. Okay. So does that mean I'm, I'm in good with these guys as long as I don't bring light? And as long as I show reverence for the dead? Will they just leave me alone? I revere the dead. I revere the dead. I have great reverence for the dead. Don't attack me. I'm just here to visit the king. Oh, the king doesn't want visitors. These are the king's guard, right? That's what Agdane just told me. The king doesn't want visitors, so he has these people protecting me from them. Oops. 
get souls from that. Oh, darn it. I got the prisoner's gloves before. Yeah. Looks like there's a chandelier under me. Wonder if that's jumpable. world of a traitor. A crushed eye orb with an unfocused gaze. The crushed eye writhes unsteadily in search of dishonorable miscreants. Where are the fiends? Where are they? It reminds me a little bit of the description of the, uh, I think it was like the black eye orb from Dark Souls 1 where you, uh, where you invaded that guy's Oh. Yeah, there was a character in Dark Souls 1 where you, like, invaded him in, in Orlando. To get back the soul of the, uh, of Anastasia, the Firekeeper. idea. Darn. Thought I might be able to light the chandeliers. of rocks. here. But it looks one way. Oh my god. Alright. That was a ooh, treasure. That was unexpected. That tiny little shield. It's so adorable. So what happened 
there. That ghost like came out of the grave there. So let me avoid those. Oh, I say as I walk right into one. Fingers. What looks like fingers? Those. Dried fingers with multiple knuckles. Shriveled but radiating a peculiar warmth. By the number of knuckles, it couldn't have been human, but perhaps some questions are best left unasked. Doesn't say what it's for. There was a, um... There was like a dried knuckle or something in Dark Souls 1 that had something to do with uh, with like being invaded. Like you could alter the duration of time between being invaded. Okay, so the ladder in the bonfire room is like up there. So how do I get up there? Probably have to get over there and hit that lever, and then something will happen. Okay. So there's my bonfire. Knuckle ring plus two. It's an upgrade to something I'm using. So we'll definitely put that on. Nameless Usurper is back. Or maybe it's a different Nameless Usurper. I don't know, because I don't know what their name is. Nameless Usurper has been vanquished. It's kind of funny that they're using Nameless Usurper as a name. Ooh, there's a seam on the wall right here. But no secret door. Oh, no, there is a secret door. It's just not where I thought it was. I thought it was right here. <laughs> Great. We're back to having ghosts jump out at walls. Cuz 
because I didn't have enough of that in Dark Souls 1. Oh, the Avalon. The Avalon was a crossbow that I never really used. An extremely rare rapid firing crossbow. Fire three successive bolts. Inflict heavy damage by making all three shots count. Fiorenza, the richest merchant in all of Volgan, recreated this lost weapon after reading of it in an old book. So it's not the original Avalon. It's a knockoff. It's a, it's a replica. Okay, got a secret crossbow. Oh! <laughs> Searching for secret doors. I found a secret enemy. Looking at there. A uh, ballista? Like a shield? Like a giant shield crossbow? God. You ma you make a very good point. The other one left. Reeves Great Shield. Shield of the knights who long ago attempted to conquer the undead crypt. They bore no weapons, only a shield split into left and right halves, which they used playfully to playfully crush their foes until their corpses were needed beyond recognition. The engraving depicts two messengers from the hereafter who welcome the recently dead by reviewing the merits of their deeds in life. Knights who long ago attempted to conquer the undead crypt and failed. I didn't get the other shield. I wanted a matching set. You didn't need any light. I guess this. Oop, I guess this is for me. This is my light. So, goddess of death, probably.
Oh god. Lady of White Hood. Hood of a Lady of... What is that bell? Lady of Apostles, in their conceit, occupied the undead crypt and misused death. This invoked the ire of Finito, who branded them as transgressors. So Finito was a... person? I thought... I thought Finito was like a... a group. Or maybe it's the name of a... oh god. There's a lot of enemies in there now. Somebody sounded an alarm. Okay. This cannot be good. Got a bad feeling. Yep. Okay, so I definitely don't want to be in a little narrow passageway when that bell rings.